any of us are in trouble, I know you'd be the first guy there, ready to do whatever you had to do. I said, yeah. And, I, and he knew only three reasons in my life, and I told him that I would ever hurt anybody. One, if I believe you're coming to hurt me, I, don't, I believe that I'm not going to let that happen. You know? Self-defense. Self-defense. Two, you go. I'm going to find that you're going to try to hurt anybody in my family, I'm going to treat you the same as you can come and hurt me. And three, if I call you my friend, and that friend, that word I don't use lightly around it is, I'm going to do whatever I got to do to protect you. Other right. than that, no money, no personal gain, no materialistic things that wasn't me. He knew it. But he knew he could make money with you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that was, well, that yeah, was cars. the bottom line. line. Cars. 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 That's the bottom line. Right. I mean, we were doing so well that we rented an old Buick dealership. <clears throat> we had a contract. Yeah, we had a contract with Kuwait. 200 cars. Kuwait. Kuwait. Yeah, Kuwait. 200 cars on the boat, $1 million. And they gave us a, a letter of credit up front, a million dollar letter of credit. You know, so figured, that's good money. So we got split in million dollars. And, and so you got a percentage of that? Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, yeah. Everybody took care of everybody. And that's basically what it was. Fair with his money. If you needed money, if you needed money for anything. What was it like a finder's fee? <clears throat> finder's fee, yes, commission. Yeah, yeah, sir, can I ask you what the commission was? Well, you figure if, if he made two million, then there was seven of us. He just got a couple hundred thousand each, you know. You got to remember. Not bad. Yeah, it, it all goes to the book, 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 book. Yeah, yeah, because I got to tap up all the way. Yeah, yeah, it's it's got to go all the way up to Pauly. The big Pauly. That's a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, how, that's how we got indicted with us. For that yeah. So yeah. Roy was. Uh, Roy was working for uh, Castel Castellano? Oh, he was, yeah. Uh, Roy, Nino. Roy, Roy was under Nino, and Nino, Nino was the capo, and so on and so forth. Okay. Yeah. The line. Yeah. Yep. So, so forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, so it was Paul, Nino, Roy. Everybody respected Nino because he was a, one of the most stand up guys you ever wanted to meet. Good family man. I mean, he was. He hung out with the guys like Luciano, Albert. He was an older guy? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nino? Yeah. yeah. Nino Gadji. Yeah. Nino Gadji. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is this, uh, is this yeah. yeah, yeah, all okay. real old school. And, uh, <laughs> you, know, you, you know, people feared him, but you loved him, too, because he had a good heart. Yeah. 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 That'd be a good story to tell, Nino Gadji's story. Oh, yeah, we've talked about it. He's, he's got to pull the bullet out of his neck. Went to the hospital, yeah. and then put another bullet back in. You know, Gaji, that's, yeah, that would be a good story. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, we, were, we, were, we were locked up in the MCC in New York. We were on the night floor, you know, dangerous characters, you might say. One night, this guy uh, banging on the door, banging on the door, his cellmate with Nino, right? and uh, he's trying to get their attention. He does. Nino was getting very sick for whatever reason. So they came and they got him, right? So, from the ninth floor, you had to go down to the third floor for the medical, medical. So they took him down, but they never made him put his jumpsuit on. So when he gets down to the third floor, they say, oh, we can't take you in. You gotta go back and put your jumpsuit on. This guy's having a heart attack. Yeah. 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 They put him back up, but I'll be by the time he gets down there, he has a heart attack and dies. He dies. Inside. Okay. God bless his wife, she sued him, and she won. <laughs> She won, and she donated, <laughs> this, this is how good she was, she took the money and donated to the medical facilities of, of prisons that... Hey, is Sonny still alive, Fred Cheesy, or oh, he, he just passed away? He's gone. He's gone. He's okay. gone. He took out a hit on Michael, on his own son. I think we met Michael in uh, in Jersey. Did we meet Michael Francesi? Probably. We met, He's got a big show we met now. Michael, uh, we met Michael at the uh, mob car. Oh, he was there. He was there. Ah, that's that's right. Right. That was a good show. Yeah, yeah so with everybody the, was there. He's there with, uh, with uh, what's his name? Um, uh, 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 no, 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 my buddy from Goshen, uh, the actor. Um, Z, uh, with the Z? Uh, uh, no, uh, what's the guy's name? The, the guy who played Gotti. Yeah, oh, Armand Azante. Yeah, yeah. He's the, I mean, we, we shared the same cleaners upstate. He lived in Goshen, I lived in Milton. They thought I was his son. I was going to tell your father, I said hello. <laughs> I guess I look just like his son. Yeah, when I was younger. Like, yeah. yeah, so and, all right, and then I saw him out of the lot when I was up there. He has the horse farm up there. And, oh, oh, yeah, I'm on his horse farm. Yeah, and in the ocean right Michael? next to me, I had one. Armand? Yeah, what did you think of Michael? <laughs> Michael, yeah. I've met Michael before. Michael's all right. You know, he's, uh, he, talks, he talks to you. Yeah. yeah. He talks. He talks a lot. He talks a lot to everybody. He does with Sammy the Bull. Uh, he just did an interview with Sammy the Bull. He did? Yeah. Okay. Each one of them called each other a rat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Right. Yeah. Sammy still <laughs> thinks he's it, it's Tim, Sammy still thinks he's in the mob in his head. He thinks he's still a guy, but he was a rat. And he thinks and then so Mikey says, well, why don't we walk down the streets of Brooklyn and see if we survive that? <laughs> if you still think you're in the game. Yeah. Sammy's a rat. He's a rat and so is Mike and that's all there is to it. Is he in Brooklyn? No. Or is he in the Queens? Uh, he's out of the no, he's program. Out. He's out of the now program. Now he's on the UK. He's on the UK. He's a guy. You tell Did you know Sammy? Okay. He's a great guy. <laughs> Back in the day, here's a guy that you go on trial, right? Against, say, no. say me for instance, right? No. I'm saying I didn't do these crimes, you know right. what I mean? You're telling everybody I did this, I did that. But meanwhile, you're sitting up there admitting, admitting to killing 19 people. Right. Right? You wind up getting five years. Right. Let's do the math. Let's just do the math on that. So for every person you admitted you killed, you wound up with 90 days. <laughs> That's what the government thought was fair. <laughs> Think about that. Right. Really, you can bust it for a little bit of uh, marijuana today, you can do five years or whatever. The guy admitted to killing 19 people in five years. 90 days, if you do mathematically. Is that why? Uh, but, they, but he gave him God. He gave him God. Of course. That was the deal. Okay. Now, Daddy didn't kill 19 people. Well, no, but I don't know how many <laughs> got killed. He didn't kill 19, he didn't kill a whole lot less. I'm just saying, this is, how, <laughs> this is how the judicial system works. Now he gets out, he gets to keep all his money, he gets to keep the money from the book. Right. The book. Yeah. So what does he do? He moves out to Arizona, goes in with his protection program, he did a little cosmetic surgery from what I understand. Yeah. Right. Gets, puts that stuff, he sit there, he says, I ain't scared of nobody. And what does he do? He gets involved in smuggling ecstasy. And oh, that's right. Forever. That's right. He gets popped again. Yep. With his son, his daughter, all of them. And what is he? He's still out there. He's still out. He's still out. So where's he's got he? a hell of a lawyer, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's called the U.S. government. He's got a hell of a lawyer. It's called the U.S. government. Well, funny thing about that, when you're getting indicted by the state, you say, okay, get indicted by the state of Florida, the state of Brooklyn, the state of New York, whatever. But when you go with the gut with the feds, right. it says on the thing, uh, United States United America States versus, versus, versus so and so people approach you not. That's a big thing. The whole United States are against it. Wyoming or Brooklyn. You can't lose. You, you, there's no way you can win. Right. Basically, right. you know, you you gotta have like you say an amazing lawyer. Right. Right. Or you gotta have somebody's pockets that are. So things are, di are much different these days, aren't they? <laughs> In terms yeah, of they'll, the, be, they'll, they'll never be what they want. No. Well, you know, you, when, like you say, like for instance, you got like Sammy, but let's just keep using him for a little bit because how are the guys that are growing up going to respect the code if, if an underboss is going to turn around? No matter what the circumstances may be, you shut your mouth, you sit there, you try to beat the case, get as least time as you can, or get acquitted. You, you don't get because he told, I told, come on. When you blow it up, you blow it up. Still think, can't hear. Uh -oh. Are we still having a problem? Are we still having a problem with the mic? No, you didn't say, some people can hear you, obviously, because they're talking about Sammy now. So. Turn up to hearing you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, so, you know, how, how, do you, how, do you, how do you respect what it used to be? You can't. Well, nobody ever told on nobody back then. When you went to prison, if a guy told and you knew who he told, he got a cut from his ear to his to his mouth. That, that was a sign of the snitch back then when I was growing up. Interesting. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Today you get these kids coming in there bragging. Well, I, I had to tell them my mother, my sister. Well, what 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 kind of generation? You know, <clears throat> when the judge asks me a question before I sentence you, you have anything to say? Why didn't you Why did you help yourself when we offered you? That's what they say. Help, help yourself. yourself. <laughs> I said, you know, that's just a polite way of saying why not be a rat. I says, you know, I said, God forbid. This country ever really gets invaded by whatever, whatever country we're gonna have to fight with? They come here. You gotta fight over patriots. These kids are all gonna believe in snitching because that's the way you're teaching them. So, what, what chance we got? Back then, men were men. You stood up. You know, I didn't say that. Today, you don't even have to slap. You gotta slap to shut up. Most of these young guys. <laughs> so, where, where is where where is that thing gone? It's gone. What about you know? One time they they're more powerful than they say General Motors. You know? yeah, one time, huh? yeah. One time. Yeah. I'm sure <clears throat> over the years 
they introduce themselves into legitimate businesses. Oh, and, and for sure. Wall Street. Oh, yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Banking. Bank. Bank. Got it. Especially banking. Yeah. It's hopefully soon, I think we're going to go back to Cuba. Yeah. <laughs> they're, already, they're already setting up that there, I believe, for gambling. I mean, that is that the devil is gone and his brother's in. He likes the puzzles, so mm -hmm. he's going to, they spot this time. From what I understand, they already opened up their own banks. In Cuba? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So they had their own, uh, their own piece of the pie. Everybody wants a piece of it. <coughs> so, like Big Pharma. Like the, oh, yeah. yeah, holy Big shit. Oh, my God. They're a mess out there. But uh, you were talking about um, you want to do a show with Sammy I and, and Mikey, Sammy. but we won't have him in this house because we're a rat in the house. Uh, but we we decided we're going to do it with posters. <laughs> poster of him? Poster of them. And that's the other way to to He can call it if he wants to. Why? <laughs> you argue on TV about who's, who's not a rat. Michael, your father took a hit out on you. He didn't want to do Why? I mean, Right. You, you know, that's, that's, that's a big, big thing for a father to do, you know what I mean? Yeah, Anybody. Sure. Yeah. I said, so therefore you must be something wrong. And Sammy, I don't have to talk nothing about you. you. You do what you did. So what they do, they, they got Michael and he, you know, he kind of uh, rolled over <laughs> and uh, gave up his dad. Why well, his... he gave up his dad? And, you know, it's just like, like uh, how can I say, um, he's kind of willing. This guy Willie was on trial with, with John. John got him when he was on trial. Right. Day. Okay. Now Willie was a tough son of a gun. He was a, did a lot of lot of work, you know. Right. And uh, when it came time for him to get on the witness stand and testify, he got up off the witness stand, walked out, sat next to John in the defendant box, and refused to testify against John. For some reason, some of these guys that testify, they pick and choose who they want to testify against, you know what I mean? Okay. You know, like, I know, I know guys that say, that would snitch his CIs, whatever you want to call them, that would say, ask me anything, but don't ask me about him, because right. I love him. <laughs> you know? Okay. So they pick and choose, and I guess Michael picked and chose, you know what I mean? And he made a ton of money with the Russians. Michael. Michael did. Oh my God. Oh yeah. And I guess he back in the day. Yeah. Mm. The tax scam. Millions, millions and millions and millions and millions. He's a smart, uh, yeah, smart guy, smart. smart kid. Yeah. 